Indeed, Pandong, actually many of the Chinese uh, space engineers and scientists have been working overnight. They have been working for several hours to witness and watch this historical moment. And this morning I was there and also witnessed this historical moment. And actually this is the first time that China sends a spacecraft to extra terrestrial planet, and uh, China has become the first country in the world that achieved the Mars rover uh, orbiting and landing in one single mission. And actually, uh, many of the space engineers have been very excited, and they have been taking photos to uh, remember this historical moment. And actually, I have been here to this is one of the uh, lander and also the rover. This is the real site, and you can see. And the, for the lander, actually, uh, after landing in the Martian surface this morning, its mission has all, almost been finished. It will be expected to uh, roll out a wrap for the rover uh, in the coming days, and the, the rover will be expected to uh, come down from the lander and starting this uh, scientific uh, discovery. And here, this is the real size rover named Zhu Rong. As you can see, it's almost uh, two meters high, and also there are some cameras, and uh, it's about 240 kilograms weight, and there are uh, about six payloads in this rover, and Chinese scientists have expected to uh, make this rover to work in, uh, on the Mars for at least three months. That is about 92 days in Earth. And actually, this time, uh, global cooperation has been a key highlight for the Mars exploration. Uh, a lot of countries, including France, Argentina, Austria, have also participated in China's Mars exploration. And actually, this this is a launch time. Many of the space engineers have been uh, going to launch, and I have been had the chance to talk with one of the young engineers here, Mr. Xie Pan, who is the uh, uh, general designer of the Orbiter Tianwen Probe from the Shanghai Academy of Space Flight Technology. Uh, Xie Zong, hello. Hello. Uh, please let us know about the mission this time. Do you think which is the biggest challenge this time? So the mission this time is first capturing that happened on the February 10th, 2021. So that's basically we got that designed orbit. And also another challenge is this morning. So we talk about the orbiter and also the a searcher or talk about the lander. So we need to really know the place to land. And also we talk about the entry, the descent, the landing. So everything should be set. Uh, scheduled, so they have a quite a smooth process, but it's very difficult. But the good news is we succeed this morning. So we talk about this nine minutes of terror, right? That's so famous because in that nine minutes, no one could help. We only need to depend on the rover or the lander by itself. Yes, indeed. The A Tim One probe actually made all this process by itself, it analyzed the area, and also searched the ideal landing site. So that is why we're so excited when we receive the signal from the ATM-11. Our hard work paid back. So how long have you participated in this Mars mission? I joined this team in 2011, and from 2016, I was one of the team members in Mars mission until today, five years. So today, actually, at this center, I see a lot of young faces. Would you please talk more about the team, talk about like every age I could talk about our talents and also how they grow up along the journey. So talk about our team. You could see the average around the 30 years old, so quite young. So they got their doctor degree or at least a master degree. So you could see they're so energetic and ambitious. So in their day-to-day -day work, they're always looking for something new, creative or innovative things. So that is why you could see that we do everything we can, devoted ourselves to overcome difficulties. So let's talk about going forward. 
So uh, wait, first today landed, we have seen that touchdown of Tim uh, Wan. So what's next? Talk about the orbiting probe. So you look at the virus, actually virus, and the, the a probe is quite a small, so it's like a transmission with the, a longer time. That is why the a orbiter provided the a like a bridge, so accelerating the transmission of the data to the ground. So our ground center can receive more more data from the a probe and the rover. Thank you so much. Okay, so after this uh, rover will be expected to uh, conduct its scientific exploration on Mars, and uh, more Mars exploration missions will be expected. Uh, just now, I talked with the Deputy Administration Wu Yanhua of the China National Space Administration. He has confirmed that China will conduct the Mars sampling return mission in the year about 2030. So a lot of these, uh, with efforts of these Chinese young engineers, more missions will be conducted.